despite months of opposition and drawn out hearings, a controversial crematorium is coming to Govins here in North Baltimore. WMAR 2 News, Dave Detling has more on the health concerns and the opposition. Well, the Govins neighborhood submitted more than 70 letters saying that they do not want this crematorium. They cited health concerns and more. But despite that opposition, it appears this crematorium is moving forward. It appears Vaughn Green Funeral Services will be expanding with cremation at its York Road location. The opposition lost despite a lengthy battle. When this happened, I felt like, wow. Where is the average everyday man supposed to stand? Where? Cindy Camp stands against the project with more than 180 other people in the Govins area. Signs of solidarity have been on front yards since May. There's been a massive petition, even letters sent to the zoning board. Cindy wrote one and so did Jeffrey Tompkins. The point we were trying to make the whole time is that that's, that's like the prime concern. Uh, health, the health, health and well-being. I have an immune deficiency disease, so that was the driving force for me for standing up was that we already have so many health issues that we didn't need anything else. The concern is that once the crematory is built and burning begins, there's no way to monitor what's being burnt or how much or what's being released into the air for people to breathe in. Community lawyers took these concerns to zoning, even mentioned that Vaughn Green's nearest neighbor and home is less than 200 feet away. One side says it's it's going to be bad. One side says, no, it's not going to be bad. It's definitely not going to be good. You know, that's that's the thing. It's it's a matter of how bad it is. Can we can we tolerate that right now? The community has no choice as the zoning board gave the crematory request a green light. Even with other location, Vaughn Green says it's York Road property is the best location and it'll meet rising needs. The funeral parlor also said it would continue to be a good neighbor. As for these yellow signs, they won't blow away in the wind like their concerns. I'm going to keep it there, right? Honestly, because I want everybody to know that we at this home are in opposition of it. And again, neighbors saying this fight is not over. The next step is an MOU between both parties, which would have the funeral parlor be responsible in how it plans to overlook the crematorium. Reporting in the Govins neighborhood, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.